this video, I'm going to show you how to open a PayPal account. Let's show you how to create your PayPal account. There are a few options here, but I want you to click sign up. Now in this option, the first thing I always advise for you to do if you're new to PayPal is to create a personal account because you can always convert it to a business account later on and I've shown you how to do that. But for now, let's leave it on personal account. Shop safely in millions of online shops, receive money and pay a friend back for lunch. <laughs> There's a nice little comment at the end there and press next. Now on this next page, you're going to need to enter an email account. So you need an email account when you're creating a PayPal account. I have an email account that I've just made via Gmail called pptutorial01 at gmail.com. I'm going to enter this email right now and select next. Now there's a security prompt because it wants to check that you're a human being. I'm going to select I am human. At this point you're going to need to enter a mobile phone number. Now I have a mobile phone number I can use. I'm going to enter this in this stage here and I'll show you what happens next. Once you've entered the mobile phone number, you will receive a code via a text message. I want you to enter this code that you've received via a text message. Notice how there hasn't been anything else on this page for now. So this is something that you need to do. It's mandatory in order to confirm that you are the person that is creating a PayPal account. This is your verification process. I've just entered the code and now it's asking me to create a password. A password needs to be at least eight or 20 characters. By characters it means either a symbol, a letter or a number. You need to have at least 8 to 20 characters. You also need to use two of the following. Letters, numbers or symbols. Symbols are actually these that you can see right here and they are not letters or numbers. Let's do this now. Now the cool thing is, is that when you're entering the password, it will actually tell you if you've done these parameters correctly. So if you've entered eight characters, it will actually give you a green tick. And if you've entered at least numbers or symbols, two of the following, it will actually give you a green tick. So that makes it far easier for you when you're creating this password. Once you've done that, select next. On the next page, it's going to ask you for your personal details. Make sure this matches your official ID. So an official ID would be something like a passport or a driver's license. So it needs to match. So the date of birth, last name and first name needs to be matching to your identification. I think the reason why they do this is because if they're going to ask for identification later on, you need to make sure that you have it ready and it matches your personal details so you can recover any money that may be in holding. For example, if somebody has claimed any fraud against you, this is where you would need to use identification in order to get your money back. For example, that's just one example where you might need your identification. The next thing you will need to do is use an address. Now your address was used with PayPal's previous system as opposed to the other online identification credentials, but it's still a part of PayPal in case of any very serious legal matters concerning your PayPal account. And that is why this will be in this part of your identification process. Also, if you decide to try to get yourself a PayPal debit card of any kind, this is where your PayPal debit card will be sent to. So keep that in mind when you're using this login detail and entering this detail. You can also change your address, of course, when you update your address in real life. You can also click on the user agreement, the privacy statement and your right of withdrawal. Now this part I absolutely love that they've updated this part of the PayPal website because PayPal is available globally and I've shown you which countries PayPal is available in. One huge issue was that you did need a bank account previously and this was an issue when creating a PayPal account because most or many PayPal account users do not have a bank account available to them, hence why they're drawn towards using PayPal. So they have updated this and you don't need to take any actions towards your PayPal account straight away. You no longer need to find a way around this page and this is absolutely brilliant. It says, shop. Check out millions of websites by adding a card or bank account. You don't need to do this straight away. They also have send money. It's fee free when you send domestically to a PayPal account if there's no currency conversion. What this means is if you're sending money from your PayPal account to somebody else's PayPal account and they're using the same currency, you don't pay any fees. You, it's literally free fee. You don't pay anything on it unless you're converting from one currency to another. You don't need to take any of these actions straight away and that's brilliant that they've updated this and you can select not now. 
Now, as you've noticed, it is reminding you that you can add a bank card to your PayPal account instead of using your PayPal balance. It's also automatically entered an address that I'm not going to enter right now. It's also given me a text message confirming that the PayPal account has been created. But what I'm going to do is instead of trying to link a bank, a bank card or a bank account, I'm going to select not now. And there, there's no need for a workaround to create your PayPal account anymore. You no longer need to add a bank account or a credit card or debit card to open up your PayPal account. This is an absolute brilliant addition and an absolute brilliant change that PayPal have, have done because they are aware of its users and it's aware of its user base and who is trying to use PayPal for their lives and their livelihood so if you've enjoyed this video 100 definitely give me a thumbs up this brilliant change is absolutely I, I absolutely love this change and this is one of the reasons why i wanted to recreate this video and show you how to create your paypal account because now it's changed and now it's absolutely worthwhile creating your your paypal account without having to find a workaround of adding a bank account or debit card if you've enjoyed it like i have give me a thumbs up. It's very important for what I'm doing here on my YouTube channel. And I'd love to see you in another video and your support in the comment section. If you have any more questions, do let me know. I am constantly testing these things out and constantly creating accounts and more to help you to show you how it can be done. It can be easier. It can be done. And I'm showing you step by step. Thank you for watching.